Firstly, I would like to apologize for the audio. A lot of you have been complaining about it, but unfortunately, this is the best I can do right now. I am grateful that I even had it. And that being said, let's go forward. I want to talk about the Cairo. Been talking about this symbol for a while. Let's just get us some writing tools up here. And the scribbling, too. It's harder on this thing, but it's all I've got right now. The X is the mutable cross. The P, let me show you the cardinal cross. The cardinal cross looks like this in, from the Egyptian. It's uh, or really, it's not Egyptian because they were all Greek. Uh, but it, it, this would be the masculine axis. And this is the feminine axis of the cardinal cross. Together they look like an arrow. Or that. That's the cardinal cross. And that is the masculine. That's the feminine. The masculine is Aries and Libra. The feminine is Capricorn and Cancer. So we just have one axis, and that's that's Mars, the god of war, god of war, okay? And he's superimposed over the top of this age. This age is ruled by Jupiter and Mercury. Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces, and Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. And on top of them, her, it's a her because we're in a feminine age. So Jupiter is feminine this age, masculine here. Uh, Virgo is feminine here, and Gemini is masculine there. So we have this feminine age going on. This is her. I figured out this is her. There's a couple of hers. There. This is her. And that, that symbol, we call it a Chris mark. It's a Chris. This is the cross. So at Golgotha, you have three crosses at Golgotha, three paths in Kabbalah, two pillars in a ladder, three in Freemasonry, three sticks in the Native American, Three crosses in the heavens, and they look like this. Mutable, fixed. This one looks just like that one, but you add this. Cardinal. And you work with these symbols just like you do. Let me... You have fire. Sorry. And water. These two make the Star of David when you put them together. Uh, the Star of David is fire, Aries, uh, Pisces, water. It's the battle of fire and ice between the two ages. And we just keep repeating that battle over and over again. It's the Game of Thrones. It's Valkyries. It's all of that. And then we have air and earth. Now, Mars, the god of war, uh, he's the Ten Commandment god. He says... You can't have any images of anything of heaven and earth. No symbol, no brand, no mark, no graven images, no nothing of heaven and earth. Only fire and water. That's all you could have. Because it was the age of fire of Aries. This is a symbol for Libra, and this is a symbol for Aries. Identifying this power. He's called the God of Fortresses, or Forces. Now, let's move forward. 
Now he's cleaning herself. The eclipse. This is the August 2016 eclipse here and the one that's coming April 2024 here. It makes a big X. Uh, the 9-11 ritual was the two pillars. One represents the sun and one represents the moon. They brought them down and they replaced it with one that looks like you take the moon pillar and you turn it upside down and you slam it into the top of the sun pillar and they become one pillar. That's an eclipse. When you superimpose the sun, the moon over the sun. Oh, black sun, won't you come? It's an eclipse. And so not, and it marked the uh, crossover between 9-11 on the calendar marks the last day of Leo, the first day of Virgo. Uh, its opposite marks the last day of Pisces and the first day of Aquarius. It marks the age of Aquarius, the coming of the age of Aquarius. It's 311. And its opposing side is 911. It's a ritual. What are you doing? We've had several rituals. Um, we've had the Miami ritual, Oklahoma City ritual, Katrina ritual. Right now we got a Portland ritual. Um, there should be what they have to do to complete the sequence. I think they're making the Cairo is to do this. They have to have war or at least fire, a fire sacrifice because he's the god of fire. He he has many names. He's Ahura Mazda, he's Vulcan, he's Molak. Come many names. Let me check on her. Uh, sorry about the interruption. Before I go any further, um, I know I'm going to get a million questions from a lot of new subscribers that don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not being rude. I'm, this is the politest way I know to say it. I'm, I'm a very blunt person. Uh, I've already done your homework for you. You just have to go back and watch the videos. Because I start this on a kindergarten level. And I work it all the way up to where we are now. As I'm understanding it, I'm putting it out there. And I really done my homework and I really know what I'm talking about. Now, moving forward. They have to have another fire ritual. They've done the water Katrina part. They've done, they traumatized us and got the collective subconscious all marking this in the Akashic records. This is all a big ass ritual. They're out to get her. And her is this age, the mutable cross. Her, that they're out to get the earth signs. It's the earth signs that are under attack, by the way. And that would be uh, Africa, uh, Australia, and Americas. The um, North America in particular is uh, Cardinal Earth, actually. And uh, Cardinal Earth is what's needed to balance this. But they have to have a fire ritual here. So where's that going to be, right? We know where the other things are. We, we know where they come in and out. So um, let's go. I gotta do this first. Let's go to the next one. All of this. The Pope in 2016, right at this eclipse, and uh, within one month, one moon, one moon, they had to wait till the moon was in Ophiuchus, and they did uh, a reset together 2016 in Washington, D.C at the mall and then Hillary's campaign slogan was stronger to get her and now we have a media blitz it's better together trying to consolidate the leftist base 
and it's all these to get her rituals that's been going on and what's coming next because you have a Saturn Jupiter conjunction uh, that's going to occur on a winter, winter solstice uh, a Saturn Jupiter conjunction the door to the Black Lodge opens and that is the collective subconscious every time these two meet it sets the stage for the next 20 years and for a long time it's been happening in Jupiter's controlled houses or in Jupiter's favor and this is the first time in a very long time that it's going to happen in one of Saturn's houses and it might be to some it's going to be very restrictive but to others it's going to be a relief your burdens are going to be lifted um, there's good and bad in all of this is depending on which side you're on and again there are three sides uh, just like there are three crosses you have a, a left side and a right side and an inside so stay on the inside uh, the new world order backwards is they O-W-N-U they own you but if you stay in the now the N-O-W the new W-O-N you won uh, this is a mirrored game it's a word game it's a symbol game it's a numbers game it's like the the craps in Hollywood the two cubes there should be three cubes they took a cube from us they're hiding a cube it, it's because that's the loaded one that they've got cupped in their hand that you don't see um, because it's a lo they have the loaded dice in their hand um, and if you have three dice the highest number you can roll is a six 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 so there are three cubes there but the one that's hidden in the hand you don't see it because there is no third temple there's no third temple and you've got the two temples for either eye but the third eye don't have a temple so back to this um let's kelly please can we, can, can we go somewhere else to groom it's kind of disgusting okay here we are so Kentucky is kind of where X marks the spot, right? Kentucky. Uh, but we're doing the line. Now, right up the line, I spent most of my life in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I was born right over here. I was born over here on the Mississippi River. Which is funny, because where we're going is on the Mississippi River. And it's way up here. And it's called Chicago. And it's built into the name. It has the key. It has the C, which makes that a chick. And then you got to go. You got to go. And then you have the other part of the X for the United States, even though the eclipse is not going to go here, right? It's not going to cross over here. It's going to cross down here. You still have the uh, Saint Diego. You got to die. That's what. What is that? The San Onofre power plant. You got to die and go. So, uh, Chicago has to have a fire ritual, and it is the god of war, and that that is the strongest one. Um, I think we've seen a lot going on in a lot of these cities where you have these fire rituals going on right now. And then you have water symbology. Uh, the, I think the water symbology that we're going to get, because water represents people, and they've tried to bring a br bunch of immigrants up as the flood, right? A tsunami of people. Um, but the this guy, let's do it right you got the New Orleans Chicago connection because Jesus just left Chicago and he's bound for New Orleans and they've already done the water ritual in New Orleans and to me that's what I see the symbology's there the stars are there the names are there it's just a matter of time uh, uh, 
they're working mostly off one side is working off of solar pillar and the other side is working off the lunar pillar but they're really just one tree that just branched off into in how a tree branches off into two trunks uh, you get it but it still has one base and um but they're warring each other because the reason it's one tree really is because it's still the battle of fire and ice we're, we're still repeating that same thing over and over again that actually you would do the water first because the fire is superimposed over the top of it the native americans have a saying that the age ends when the water boils right you put the fire over the water it's all metaphorical speech it's literally not the water's going to boil but we have spent 10 ages of every time it ends it's the battle of fire and ice it's the valkyries it's the game of thrones it's lord of the rings and the three-eyed raven wins this time and i know that pisses you game of thrones people off but if you really understood what that meant you would be cheering at the top of your lungs but because the public did not cheer because they did not understand the collective subconscious is going to try to repeat the battle of fire and ice and give the people what they want aren't you tired of this story don't you want this to end we've been serving this god uh, thou shalt have no symbols of heaven and earth only fire and water they've lied to us about everything the scribes scribbled the scriptures and gave us bible bible babble at babylon and the bible is not a book written for the masses it was written for the elite by the elite we haven't even known to read very long and they gave us a spell as a language and it's it's once you see the symbolism and you just start working with what you see not the lies you're being told then the truth will reveal itself uh, alchemy and astrology astrology that zodiac is nature's alchemical circle and all these guys do here is just imitate it it's it's faux pas it's artificial it's faux nation is what it is all right she's demanding my i forget my place again i think i was talking about the phoenicians so um i guess if i tried to put myself in your shoes i would be asking questions like what do i need to do and where do i need to be well you need to get your cross and carry it and i can't do everybody's i'm so wow far behind and juggling charts and looking for charts and doing charts that uh, that's just not in my near future um you can try victoria cotton or uh, crystal she's got i always recommend them they're doing alchemical astrology they get it they understand that middle pillar they understand the symbolism uh, they obviously have worked with astrology for a long time but to look at it from an alchemical perspective again the zodiac is an alchemical circle but it's nature's alchemical circle and alchemy's purpose is to extract the essence or a quintessence of a thing it's like you want to get the essential oil out of that plant or that yeah whatever whatever you're working with um, organic material you want to extract it and concentrate it and uh, that's what nature does to man now what they do is they worship the great architect or the builder it's the builder of civilizations and they follow the symbolism of the heavens they and they're supposed to move us from age to age but this masculine axis of the cardinal cross um let me pull up a zodiac all right so let me yeah i want to flip this 
Yeah, let's put Libra on top. Because that's who I'm fixing to talk about. Is Libra. Now, Libra's Venus. And we have the storyline. The bright morning star. And how uh, she, uh, as masculine, in heaven, air, cast to earth, Taurus. And it was because of arrogance or jealousy. And we always have that green color because the element for Venus is copper. And copper tarnishes green. And then we also have a turquoise that is that color. And the lapis lazuli is that has that green, blue, uh, oxidized copper. Now, you have the same story. Uh, well, first, Venus is in, in the age of Libra, Venus rules in heaven. But in the age of Taurus, she rules on earth. But the very next age, in the age of Aries, right back in heaven, assume back up, right? Now, um, Mercury does the same thing. Mercury is in our, uh, heaven, in Gemini, and in this age, Pisces, he's across in Virgo, in Earth. But he gets assumed back to heaven in three more ages. He don't get to ascend yet. He has to go through the lake of fire. Mutable fire. Lake of fire. Sagittarius. So, on the fixed cross, which is what we want, what we're looking for, the fixed cross, we have... Um, Saturn and the Sun, Saturn over the Sun, and you have uh, Mars and Venus. Mars in water, so no more war god, and Venus in Earth, Taurus. And that's the fixed cross. So that's where we're headed. Now they're trying to stop that, and they'll do it manipulating the collective subconscious with symbolism. It's like, I can't say this enough, that freaking rainbow flag drives me crazy. And I didn't understand it when it first came out. It bothered me. And I didn't understand why it was bothering me. I didn't understand the symbolism. I mean, I've never really been a big rainbow fan myself, but I understand the symbolism of it is it was a promise, right, that I'd never flood the world again that can have multiple meanings in itself but um if you if you don't have a rainbow flag get one but make sure purple's on top don't say anything to anybody just put one in your house and see if they even notice and if they tell you oh your rainbow flag's upside down oh you say no um everybody else's is and show them you know that purple's on top your crown chakra you want your emotions on the bottom, right? That Mars emotions on the bottom. Because it's, it's the sequence of the chakras. The rainbow flag is the colors of the sequence of the chakras in your body. Now, colors mean a lot of things, but you've got to know what legend. Like in alchemy, the color red is for air, and Mars would have nothing to do with that. Mars rules water and fire. That's yellow and white. Yellow and white. Now, when you see these colors of yellow and black, uh, yellow on top of black, that's fire on earth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you have yellow on top of red, that's, let's do a yellow on top of red. That's Leo over Aquarius. That's yellow fire over red air. You want red over yellow. You need a red star on a yellow field. You have to create your own symbolism. And that's really the trick to it. Now, what they're doing with this... Let me go find my thing again. 
what they're doing with all these rituals and symbols in conjunction with astrology and the movement of the stars is creating a seal. They're sealing the deal. They brought Trump in because he's got the art of the deal. It's all about the deal and the seal. You got you to seal it. And they seal it with these rituals. And it's just one after another. Uh, and they, they, they'll follow dates because they're marking the calendar. They're marking the calendar. The heavenly calendar. Not the one they gave us. A different one. And uh, the one I suggest you 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 learn to use. You gotta you gotta learn to use that wheel. You gotta learn learn to use this symbolism. You create your own sigils that nobody knows but you. And that's the thing about sigil magic is you're supposed to create a symbol of you put things together that you want it to mean something, and you don't tell anybody. You put it on a shirt, but you can't tell them what that symbol means. And because they don't know the meaning of it, it evokes them subconsciously. You could make a symbol telling people to give you money and put it on a shirt. And people would just start being very generous to you. You wouldn't, for no reason, they wouldn't even know why they're doing it. That's how much symbols affect us. That's how bad that makes TV. I don't care what's on that screen. I don't care who they're showing you. I don't care what program it is. It all comes from the same tree. It's all bad fruit. It's all bad symbolism. And it's affecting your subconscious and your children. And they do it in video games. All these pedo symbols. are. You want to know what's wrong with everybody? Again. Turn that damn flag around. Turn the pedo symbol back to the symbol of nature instead of unnature, unnatural. They've got you in UN world, unworld. I think I've covered it. Do we understand now? They're sealing the deal. It, they, you got to have a seal, which is the Cairo. The Cairo is a seal. It's a seal. It's a sigil. It's a seal. It's a mark. It's a brand. It's an image. Nothing comes through your TV that's not a freaking image. And the image doth both speak. And you gotta worship it. On Sunday, you better be in front of that TV watching that ball game. Because spirit and sport is the same word. That's why you have team spirit. Well, they're killing that right now with this ritual. They've got you doing your pirate masks on, your rituals, your gag order. Take this free time they've given you and download Stellarium. Link below. You know, a lot of you ask me questions if you just hit show more in the description box, all those links are down there. And any question you have, try going back and looking at some of the other videos. Or pay attention to some of the other comments in the section. That'll help you out a lot as well. Like I said, I've already done your homework for you. All you got to do is go copy the answers. I cannot take the test for you. You must do this for yourself. The straight and narrow path is a lonely one. You, you, nobody's going with you. You've got to take up your cross and carry it. And it's nobody else's responsibility but yours. And now there's, there's the key word, responsibility. And it's the ability to respond instead of react. You react from the lower mind, Mars, red. You respond from the higher mind, purple, Saturn, that crown chakra. That's why you got a coronavirus. They've got the crown on the bottom, and they're giving it a virus. Do you understand? You want to get coronavirus? Keep waving that flag with the purple on the bottom. You want to be well? Turn it over. 
it's all good. You just got to learn to start talking to your own subconscious with the correct symbolism. Because come this 2020 conjunction, when Saturn and Jupiter meet, and the door to the Black Lodge opens on a freaking winter solstice in the middle of two eclipses, in the midst of all these rituals, the next, it, the next 20 years of your life depends on it. It depends on having the right, on the right symbolism. And because I'm telling you this, the spiritual world's been after my ass. But you know what? I'm okay. We got this. Y'all know what to do. Go bank your karma. Be the kindness and commit that random act of kindness every chance you get and create them if you can.